Hey, what's up everybody? It's me, Ben, with Maker Decor. For today's video, we're gonna show you how we made these cutouts. Now, you can use these out of, uh, this is five mil plywood, which you can get at Home Depot or Lowe's. You can make this out of quarter inch plywood. You can make this out of foam. And not just these, there's a lot of other um, stencils and stuff that I have down below on the website, makerdecorshop.com. We have a lot of different stencils from horses to unicorns to uh, butterflies trucks trailers everything so uh you can kind of make whatever party decoration theme you're going for that's what we're working on they're all going to be similar and you can kind of adjust or make any changes that you'd want but they're all going to follow the same basic concept of just using this also this was made just the whole stencil by itself without the supports was just made with wood glue so there was no brad nails no nothing like that it's just wood glue put some weights on it and it held, it held out perfect um, I did put some supports and I'm gonna show you a little bit how I had those and you can kind of attach those however you want but um, Honestly, this just kind of gives you a good outline to make yours how you want to make it So you can actually purchase the digital download and print it on a home printer tape them all together and create this stencil or you can actually just order the actually paper stencil um, I have a link down below or if you have a CNC or laser you can actually just cut it out yourself to whatever size you want uh, these are set to these sizes I think I'll have this version and maybe a little smaller version in case someone wants to make a not as tall maybe a two foot a two foot height version um, but I also have a lot of other stencils they're all gonna work the same way uh, so if you have any questions let me know just message me or um, put in the comments below I'll definitely try to help you out are right, you ready let's get started All right, I picked a very windy day to kind of try to cut out this template. Um, and it's a large template because we're building a large, a large prop. So um, you can actually, if you're indoors and it's not windy, you can cut out the template and then use it and trace it onto your plywood, which would probably be the best way to do it. Um, but it's so windy out here, I don't have a lot of room in the garage. So I am actually just gonna use regular glue. This is like paper glue, but you can use the same little like roll-on glue sticks, any type of glue for paper. It, it'll, wood is paper technically, wood is paper. So it'll glue. So you can just use a little, a little um, kindergarten roll-on sticks or anything, but don't put a lot on it because you still have to kind of sand that off. That's why I'd rather cut out the template if I had the room and then just trace it onto here but since it's so windy i don't have the room i'm gonna put a little bit of glue on some of the corners and then glue the whole template to the plywood and just cut off the whole plywood i will have to rip off the paper and kind of sand it smooth again so i can paint it which i don't want to do but it's just too windy for me to even get this done right so just regular glue i don't have any of those little roll-ons so this is just paper glue To the templates I also have the original drawing so you have something to go off of So I don't know why I just thought of this right now, but um, I have my regular jigsaw blade and it's like burned a lot because you're going slow and that, that you need to go slow to get those turns and curves. That's kind of what um, 
is most of the issue with using a jigsaw versus like a CNC or laser. But I don't know why they actually make scroll saw blades, and I actually have one right here. Um, these are scroll saw blades for a jigsaw. You can already tell how much thinner this is. So this is great for making curves and cuts and just getting us a, a lot smoother um, turn. This is just for like yanking out wood, cutting whatever. But this is the one that's gonna make your life a lot easier if you're gonna try to attempt this uh, scroll saw blades. I'll probably try to have a link below, but you can get them from like Home Depot or Amazon or wherever. But it's a scroll saw blade but made for a jigsaw. All right, so that should make a big difference. Let's get back to it. So I will tell you, it's a night and day difference using the scroll saw and the other regular um, jigsaw. This one took maybe five minutes to do, the other one took about 20 because you, you really want to go slow, make sure you get the right cuts, but the scroll saw for sure, get that. So all the different templates and stencils I have on there, they're only just a, uh, a rough outline for you to follow. If you wanna change something up, definitely do it. If you wanna, you have the power, whether you're using a CNC, a laser, or if you're cutting with the jigsaw, you can also just, once you tape it on there and you're like, let me make this, draw a line different, make it different, use it the same exactly. Um, I just wanna give you some tips like, uh, this will be easy to cut out with like a laser or CNC, but if you're doing it with a jigsaw, like this is gonna be my hubcap for the wheel. Um, but it could be applied to any other stencils that I put on there. Um, this is a square, hard to cut out, but I'm actually just going to just put a drill bit in and I'm just gonna use these as like the center and so this will cut it into a round so it'll be like a round little um, thing. These are kind of like the, the bolts, what would be the bolts for the hubcap of the wheel. So you don't have to do the square. I'm just gonna put this, you can just use this as a template to know you can just use this as a template to know where to put it. Uh, just a heads up, if you have any questions, always just message me, let me know. All right, check it out. And then all I'm gonna do is sand the back, peel this off, sand it, and you'll see as a hose.
All right, now the fun part. I gotta sand all of those uh, glue lines off. So if I didn't do it and traced and cut and everything, I wouldn't have to sand those glue lines off. Um, but honestly, just kind of gluing it on there real quick. I might put less glue next time, but that was pretty easy just to put it on there instead of like cutting out with scissors and then tracing onto wood and then doing it. <sighs> it, it just felt way easier just to throw some glue, line it up and just cut. But uh, up to you, I know some people would rather cut it out and just draw it perfectly and not have to mess up the outside because then you have to go over with sand or maybe you don't have a sander. So use scissors, cut it out, trace, and you should be fine. Uh, or a little sponge sanding around the edges, you should be good. But um, that's what I'm gonna do. Wow, super hyped on how that came out. <laughs> ah, I don't know if I want to paint it, but then I don't want to paint it because I don't want to mess it up. Ah, I might just keep it wood. Um, ah, and that's up to you, honestly. If you want, you can paint them whatever the colors. I think I had like black, yellow, and gray, but also it's up to you. All right. Oh man, definitely love the way that came out. So this is just regular wood glue, you just saw me pour it in there, but um, you can use brad nails, you can use a lot of different things, but I know um, a lot of the people that, I, the, my channel my channel is kind of geared towards people who don't have huge garages with everything with them. Um, uh, some larger size clamps would be perfect to hold this down, but honestly, this wood glue and just putting some weight on top is actually all you really need. This thing um, gets a good hold within a couple of minutes and then within a couple of hours, it's solid. So we're gonna put this whole thing together with just wood glue, no nails, no nothing. I just poured it and it already has, it's, it's getting on there. So I'm just gonna put something with just a little bit of weight on there and it'll hold. And I'm gonna do that to the rest. All I did was just put some weight on the things and that should hold them, I'll give it some time. And honestly, you can kind of place these wherever you want them. I don't really have an exact center, but um, if you want it taller, longer, you can go ahead and do that. I'm just gonna put it where I feel looks best. To cover up the glue lines, all I did was just flip the image around. And so I'm using, this is where the glue lines were. I'm actually just using this side. All right, the two biggest tips I'm gonna tell you, if you're just gonna glue this, just like I did, is make sure you get, get the wood glue for this. Um, all right, the, the first tip is, if you can, these are little like 50 cents or dollar clamps. I got these at Lowe's, but you can get them anywhere. Home Depot has them. The little plastic clamps, they help out. And then also don't put so much glue. I know you wanna put a lot of glue on here, um, but you don't wanna put a lot because then that makes it um, move around a lot and it gives it, it takes too long for it to dry. So you just put a minimal amount. Um, I wouldn't put more than what I've put. Um, just less than that, let it dry and let it, um, it'll start getting tacky really quick. And so it'll, it'll hold on. But if you put a lot of it, it's so much in there and just starts slipping around. It's just, it takes too long for it to dry. Um, but if you have clamps, do what you want. Just put the clamps, uh, put a clamp like this.
there. leave it like this and we'll check back in a bit so while this is drying here I'm gonna show you how to make just a quick and simple very uh, very easy and affordable little stand that you can put these on and you're gonna kind of adjust it to how, whatever you build yours whether you're doing a ballerina or a horse or unicorn or a tractor trailer whatever uh, you kind of just adjust it to the size that you want for this and then we'll just screw it in from the back let me show you so I already measured my height I need one that's two feet as my guide inches this will be the bottom plate I'll, I'll just go with 16 inches but you can do 12 10 whatever you want just to have a little back support uh, I might even cut this a little shorter I'll probably go for a foot I'm gonna make um, the bottom foot to the bottom feet for this to be a foot long some leftover five mil plywood that I'm gonna cut the little angle out of. Let me show you. Now what we're gonna do this like this this like this and we're going to put some screws or you can use brad nails, whatever you want, and then some wood glue. And that should kind of give it the support it needs to help keep this balanced. I'm going to use some screws, so I'm going to pre-drill at the edge of this. If not, this wood will split, so make sure if you're screwing in from this pre-drill. Uh, if you're just screwing from the side, you're going through the plywood, you should be alright. But for the side, you will. These are just inch and a quarter.
temperatura. Pretty simple, just quick. You can uh, quick, simple little back support, and then you can either screw or brad nail it in. Um, I'm just gonna put some screws, but um, pretty simple. Uh, you can do anything. You can put PVC pipes, whatever you want. I've even seen people use like a lamp to kind of duct tape them behind and hold the hold the stencil up. Um, as long as these these aren't meant to be out crazy wind or anything, because they'll, they'll move around. But indoors or outdoors on a regular a nice day. Um, this be easy and then you can just put some weights in the back a little sandbag or whatever you want to help hold this and give it support uh, now nah, it'll work out great so it's been about maybe about two hours I went to Home Depot got some wood made the stands um, took care of some other stuff in the garage but now I'm back out here um, we're gonna flip it over put the stands on uh, hopefully everything stayed set And then the stands are just going to be like this in the back. I'm gonna use screws to attach it to the back, um, just in case I want to take the legs off, or if I'm just gonna use it in, indoors. It depends on everybody to use these totally different, so you can just brad nail it, glue it, screw it, everything. But um, just because of for example and in storage, I'm just gonna put some screws in it, show it is, and then um, probably take it off and to store it. But up to you. The screws will be visible, so it's kind of everybody's preference. And if you don't, these poke through a little bit, they're inch and a quarter, so I would probably go with like, uh, maybe an, a 3 4 inch screw would work out perfect. Alright, this one is two feet tall. And I think it's like four feet wide. Just short of five feet by three feet. Yeah. All right. Thank you for watching. Thank you for all the support. If you have any questions, leave in the comments below. And actually, to cut this out and put this all together, it probably, if I take away the dry time, it was probably maybe an hour worth of my time. I did not paint it. You can paint it. Um, I just like the wood looks. I'm like, man, that looked really cool. So. Definitely, if you want me to see me do more stuff like this, I think I have a mermaid plans. I have a lot of different stencils that I can do. Uh, definitely let me know, and we'll see if we can get those done. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the next one.